हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू मैथमेटिकल पाठशाला सो इन द कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ प्रोवाइडिंग सॉल्यूशंस आई विल प्रोवाइड सॉल्यूशन ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन दिस इज फेवरेट टॉपिक ऑफ आईआईटी जेम एवरी ईयर दे आस्क क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दिस टॉपिक चेंज ऑफ ऑर्डर इन डबल इंटीग्रेशन दिस टाइम आल्सो नो एक्सेप्शन सो दिस इज वेरी इजी क्वेश्चन सी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू हैव टू ड्रॉ योर रीजन लाइक y is varying from 0 to 1 and x is varying from 0 to 1 minus y square so x is equal to 0 means y axis so this is y axis x is equal to 1 minus y square x is equal to 1 minus y square if you want to draw x is equal to 1 minus y square then this is the equation of a parabola when x बराबर 0 then you can easily see y बराबर प्लस माइनस 1 so 0 1 And zero minus one. Parabola will pass through from these two points, and you can see if you will put x is equal to one, then you will get the value of y zero. So one zero. Now you can easily get the shape of the parabola. So it will be like this. So in the question, it is given that. x is varying from 0 to 1 minus y square and y is varying from 0 to 1 so y is varying from 0 to 1 so y बराबर 0 means x axis and y is equal to 1 this line and we know that outer limit if outer limit is y then we will put a line parallel to x axis in this way now you can easily see y is varying from 0 to 1 if you will consider this reason then y is varying from 0 to 1 and x is varying from here to here and this line is x is equal to 0 and this curve is x is equal to 1 minus y square so if you want to solve this question now you have to change the order of integration if you want to change order then put a line like this if you will put line like this then double integral y sin pi 1 minus x Whole square dy dx. So here outer variable is x. So the limits of x will be integers. So you can easily see that this is zero zero and this is one zero. So the limits of x are varying from zero to one. Limits of x are varying from zero to one. And the variation in y, you are entering region. you are entering in your region from this line so at this line the value of y is 0 and you are exiting your region from this curve and what is the value of y for this curve so if you will solve this equation then you will get y square is equal to 1 minus x and y is equal to plus minus under root of 1 minus x so y बराबर plus under root of 1 minus x will be this branch of the parabola because here value of y is positive and for y is equal to minus of under root 1 minus x you will get this branch of the parabola because this value is always negative so in our reason if if you will exit your reason then you will get y is equal to plus under root 1 minus x so plus under root 1 minus x now we can solve this integration very easily see first of all solve this inner integral so 0 to 1 if you will integrate with respect to y then x will be treated as a constant so this term this whole term is constant and integration of y is y square upon 2 so integration of y is y square upon 2 and sin pi 1 minus x square this is constant and if you will put your limits of integration from 0 to under root 1 minus x we are solving inner integral first of all and dx is as it is so if you will put under root of 1 minus x as upper limit so it will be under root of 1 minus x ka square upon 2 multiplied by this minus if you will put y is equal to 0 then 0 square upon 2 and this whole so you will get
after putting lim limits of integration for y you will get integration 0 to 1 here 1 minus x upon 2 sin pi 1 minus x whole square dx now this is very easy integration for this you have to put pi into 1 minus x whole square is equal to t so differentiate both sides pi differentiation of 1 minus x whole square is twice 1 minus x minus dx is equal to dt so the value of 1 minus x dx is 1 minus x dx is equal to minus 1 upon 2 pi dt I am rubbing this portion so now limits of integration will also be changed if x is 0 then t is equal to pi if x is 1 then t is equal to 0 and 1 upon x dx is minus 1 upon 2 pi dt so minus 1 upon 2 pi this is constant so I am putting outside the integration dt and half is already there so 1 upon half sin I have assumed this quantity as t sin t so now you can easily solve this integration I am using this minus sign in changing the limits of integration so integration will be from 0 to pi now 1 upon 2 you can take 1 upon 2 outside the integration so 1 upon 4 pi integration 0 to pi sin t dt now you can easily solve this integration 0 to pi sin t dt is 2 so 1 upon 4 pi into 2 so answer is 1 upon 2 pi so option a is the correct answer so most of the students should have correct this question because this is repeated question and no lengthy no more lengthy calculations are involved this is a standard integration that we regularly use in our practice questions thank you friends